Welcome to Artec. Today we're going to talk about Victron's line of solar charge controllers, specifically the Smart Solar and Blue Solar line of MPPTs. Victron's line of MPPT charge controllers, in essence, takes a variable input voltage and amperage and provides a consistent managed output voltage and amperage through a full three-stage charge. The Smart Series line all come with built-in Bluetooth that allows you to program and read parameters over the Victron Connect app. This allows for a huge amount of flexibility in the programming, catering to a range of different applications and battery chemistries. They all have the most advanced maximum power point tracking algorithms for partial shading scenarios, and they all have short circuit detection, as well as the ability to derate themselves in the event of over temperature. This is made possible with the internal temperature sensor, which in turn can also be used for lithium protection if the device isn't being controlled externally. When connected to a VECAN network, you can control the units via DVCC, and link a total of 25 of them for a synchronized charge cycle. If VECAN is not built into your units and you're using Bluetooth, then the limit is 10. They come in five different form factors and cover a range of different input voltages from 75 volts to 450 volts, as well as a range of amperage limits on the output side from 10 to 200 amps. These charge controllers can also be used in 12, 24, 36 and 48 volt systems However, not all charge controllers are available in all voltages, so make sure that you check the system voltage compatibility before installing. All MPPTs from Victron will have two numbers on the front. The first is going to be the hard, do not exceed voltage limit for the array. Keep in mind that in cold weather, you can see voltages increase, so take this into account when designing your panel configuration. The second number is the charging amperage potential. This doesn't mean that the unit will always charge at this amperage, but if the array was appropriately sized in ideal conditions, this is what you would see going into your battery bank. If you need help sizing a charge controller, Victron has an amazing sizing tool, or you can reach out to one of our team members to assist with this. When installing an MPPT from Victron, you will need to install your panel array in a configuration that raises the voltage five volts above the charging voltage of the battery bank. For example, a 12 volt battery bank from Victron will typically charge at 14.2 volts. So if you wanna charge this bank from solar, the minimum voltage of that array would need to be 19.2 volts before it would start charging. The smallest form factor includes the 7510, 7515, 115, and 120 unit. The only 48 volt compatible unit in this range is the 120. These all have V direct communication, a load output to power small DC loads directly up to 15 amps or 20 amps, depending on the model, and can recover batteries all the way down from zero volts if that battery is capable of accepting a charging current. The medium form factor will include the 130, 150, 150 35, and 150 45 MPPTs. These are some of the most popular models for smaller applications, especially in the RV industry for smaller rigs such as vans. They do not have a direct load output, but they still have V-direct communication. The 130 and 150 units are not 48 volt compatible, but the 15035 and the 15045 series are. These are nice to use because they can accept a higher voltage than the 120 to run panels in series, allowing you to get that increased charge voltage earlier in the day and keep it there later in the day. The large form factor units cover the 15060, 15070, 25060, and 25070 in PPTs. These units have V direct ports built in like the previous models, but they also have the ability to be controlled by an analog input. They either come with screw terminals or MC4 connectors, and they have a programmable relay built into the unit. These can all be used in 48 volt systems. They can also be fitted with an external smart solar pluggable LCD screen, giving you the ability to read parameters off of the front of the device without having to access a phone or connecting it up to a GX device. The XL units are very similar to the previous large models and include the 15070 VE CAN, the 15085 VE CAN, the 15100 VE CAN, 25070 VE CAN, 25085 VE CAN, and the 25100 VE CAN. These still have a VE Direct port on the units like all the previous models, but they're also fitted with VE CAN ports. This allows you to daisy chain up to 25 units together for synchronized charging. If you're not using this, then the limit over Bluetooth is 10. These can all be used for 48 volt systems as well. And finally, we have the RS models. These are the largest MPPTs in Victron's lineup. They're specifically for 48 volt systems and come in a 450-100 and a 450-200 model. 
These have the highest input voltage and work really well for large off-grid energy production needs, as well as commercial applications such as mobile offices, agriculture, or other industrial applications. Thanks for listening in today to go over a basic overview of Victron's line of solar MPPTs. Links to all of the products will be in the description below, and if you have any questions or need any assistance, then please reach out to our team. Thank you.